Hello, everyone. This is Doug Davis, broker in charge at Karambi Realty, and here with another session of Ask Doug. And I had this one, which was new for me, but it's been around for uh, a number of recent years, and it's PASH, or Public Access Shoreline. And so I've had my first experience with that a few months ago and thought, well, I was asked about it, so why don't I bring this one up? And it can affect properties on any of the islands uh, where there are native uh, gathering rights that might be employed um, over the property. So what in the world is this? So it's not just oceanfront property. This can be far, far inland too. So um, I'll just read a, a summary here. PASH Act rights might apply to your property even if it's not oceanfront. You might also be subject to it if your property has a stream or river or natural pond or awai. Uh, a historic trail, including ones that run from the mountain to the ocean, burial sites, a heiau, or other historically significant sites. For the ongoing gathering of traditional foods or plants. Wow. So um, it would not apply to a property in a subdivision that's surrounded by homes. It, it's not like that. There's no access. You can't go through someone's backyard in a subdivision with fences and dogs and families. It's not about that. It's more about acreage. It, it's not any one kind of property, but it's going to look more like a big piece of property, 10 plus acres perhaps, could be smaller, could be far larger that gives access from, uh, from the mountain down to the ocean. So it could be a trail. Uh, there could be a site there. And back in, what was the year? 1859, uh, both Hala and tea leaves were covered by law for traditional gathering rights. Hala, the Lao Hala tree, um, the leaves which were used for weaving and tea leaves probably for cooking. Um, again, were, were sanctified back as far as 1859 for gathering rights. So this isn't talking about beach access like you might access from say, uh, um, a main road through a subdivision every couple of blocks or so. Um, it's part of it, but but lateral access, which is what that's called, from, from a main street to the beach or from a parking lot uh, to the beach, um, the state has delegated that to the county to provide and to develop and maintain the Mauka to Mackay um, access points at reasonable intervals. So we all enjoy access to the beach, to get to the beach, to go swimming, surfing, other uh, ocean sports. Um, but this is, this is not for that, it's different. This is for native gathering rights. So this started, Patch, Patch started about 1992 and started with a lawsuit to clarify um, the Hawaii Constitution, uh, which assured native tenants could continue to gather, to fish, to cultivate according to traditional practices. So that's what it's about. So we recently had an escrow and the title officers involved with that uh, tagged the property on the prelim and said that this might apply to um, PASH, P-A-S-H, Public Access Shoreline. And um, the title company 
would not ensure the transaction. So we had to close that escrow company and go to another one that would. And it turns out that this particular one, after evaluation, I think uh, would not have applied because for some reason, uh, their research parameters um, made an error and they did not realize it was surrounded by a subdivision. It was a very large lot, unusual for the neighborhood. Uh, but there was no, there's, if you went, you couldn't go through it and go anywhere. So that might not have applied if it was researched a little bit more. But this is what might happen. So some people uh, have made a place along their property boundary for uh, access uh, to the waters. So from like on the Big Island, you're way above the ocean. And uh, I know in one instance where they have provided uh, an area down the side of their fence, um, it, it looks like it's uh, maybe 20 feet wide and they mow the lawn all the way down to the ocean and provide a nice access down to the cliff. I know I've gone to California and you can drive for miles and miles and miles and never have anywhere to access the ocean. And there's all the surf breaks below and you just can't get at them. So uh, we don't have that here. We don't have that by virtue of the state's uh, lateral access laws and then this PASH law, which allows for gathering rights. Now that doesn't mean that if you're just going to the beach, that applies to you. This is for gathering rights. But I bring this up because it, it affects title, it affects um, privacy, it affects uh, perhaps not even be able to get title insurance. And if you can't get title insurance, you probably can't get a loan to buy the property or to sell to someone that needs to go to a, a bank to get the funding. So be aware if this shows up um, that this might be affecting you. And I think more properties are being tagged as the computers that the title people use um, tag these properties. And it might not be tagged until you get into escrow and, and then they look at it and see that it might apply. So there you go. That's, uh, that's an interesting uh, newer concept for real property in Hawaii to be aware. But I think it's a good thing. It's uh, giving access to and fro. Uh, certainly obvious if there's a native trail like the King's Trail in Kona, uh, that's pretty obvious um, and so forth. So anyway, I um, thought that was an interesting uh, concept topic to uh, bring up and hope that's been of uh, uh, value to you. Okay, until next week, uh, talk to you then.